Y'all tell me what y'all want, and I talk to these men. And then I come back and tell you, well, this is what this type of guy said. And then y'all get mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what the guy you say you want say he want. What the hell? Hey, this is Raul. Please act right. That was just a snippet of Kendra G going in on women because they're giving her a difficult time about what men say they want in a woman. Before we get into the video, let's hear a word from our sponsor. There's a secret diet that many celebrities, CEOs, athletes, and 12.9 million other Americans use. It's the keto diet, and it's considered an efficient way to reach weight goals, increase energy levels, and enhance mental focus. There's even strong evidence that it will increase lifespan, stabilize blood sugar, and reduce inflammation as well. I'm on the keto diet myself, but progress can be slow because it takes time for the body to stop using energy from carbs. That's why I switched to this amazing keto powder. It helps increase ketones levels in the body without having to follow the strict rules of the keto diet. So results like a boost metabolism came sooner for me. It's three times better than coconut oil, butter, or MCTs. Plus, each order comes with two bonuses, free VIP live health and fitness coaching for life, and a free ebook titled, The Top 14 Keto Foods. Increase the level of ketones in your body sooner with it. KetoActRight.com is notorious for selling out due to their high demand. As of the making of this video, they're in stock and they're 51% off. And if you order now, you also get free shipping and a 60 day money back guarantee. Get yours while you still can by going to KetoActRight.com or visit the link below. I get the feeling that Kendra G is going to get so aggravated that she's going to give up on helping these women real soon. And we know it won't be the first woman who tried to help women and got frustrated and quit. Remember April Mason? She finally quit because she couldn't take the nonsense from women anymore. The healthy individuals that they are running across is not the problem. They are the toxic. I would say about 60% of my clients that come to me with this problem, we find out that it has more to do with them than the other person. She says 60% of her clients, which are women, are the problem, which means she's saying that women don't want to share the blame for the reason that they're single. She then elaborated on a few things she meant by that. Being disagreeable, defensive, argumentative about everything, always finding something to nitpick about, looking for perfection. If you mention anything about doing something kind for the man they chose, it's the, what is he going to do for me? And the list goes on. Now, this doesn't excuse men's behavior. A lot of men think because they are high earning, it makes them a high value man. Not. Also, remember Rebecca Lynn Pope when she finally couldn't take it anymore and decided to quit coaching women? I stopped matchmaking. And the reason I stopped matchmaking is because I literally was being, I, I can't handle female clients. You got issues and unresolved issues and you got a temper and you're bossy and you're controlling and men don't even like to be around you long term. You run everybody away. You think you're so much the ish that you're bougie and vain and stuck up and men don't like it. And you wonder why you can't keep a man. You wonder why nobody wants to be around you. But in the meantime, boo, you're not even half the things that aren't that you have on your list as requirements for a man. You're not even half those things, but you want that in a man. I was like, I knew I had to get out. I had to get out because they're unrealistic. And now we have Kendra G snapping because women are making it difficult for her to help them. This is why, and this is why I don't baby y'all because y'all be in the comments bold as on my page at times saying all the shit that y'all don't like, what you don't like when a man's on this show. And at the end of the day, do you want a man or do you want another woman? Like if you want to become a lesbian, do your thing, girlfriend, because a lot of times y'all only agree with each other. Y'all are not listening to what these men who y'all say y'all want. Because here's the deal, like I stand, the guy that wants you, you don't want him. But the guy that you want apparently doesn't want you. But the guy that you want, you're not even trying to hear some of the things he does not like. All you do is want to argue, push back, and say, oh, this and this and that. I say if that's the case, either become a lesbian or settle down with the guy that wants to be with you. And I don't know what he got going on. He ain't got no job. You know, I don't know. He, that's the guy I want to be with you, then be with him and be happy, go lucky in your life. Or if you want something different at some point in time, you're gonna have to start listening to these guys. And this has nothing to do with me. Take Kendra G out of the equation. I ain't got a penis, girl. I don't want you, all right? You don't want me. Start talking to the type of man that you say you want and figure out. It's really that simple. That's all I do all day. 
Y'all tell me what y'all want, and I talk to these men. And then I come back and tell you, well, this is what this type of guy said. And then y'all get mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what the guy you say you want say he want. What the hell? Over the years, I've heard so many women saying, it's the men, it's the men. They're the problem. And they never take responsibility for their part in the failed relationships. Remember sister Shirazad Ali? She's been saying women have been unrealistic for decades. Expectations has been our downfall. We have oh. made up ideas about what a relationship and a husband or a man is supposed to be like. Exactly. Too many women have this fairy tale in their mind of how the relationship is supposed to be and how the man is supposed to act. Then they search for the man that fits exactly the way she saw it unfold in her dream. And when he doesn't, they say there's something wrong with him. The reality is most of these women are not living in reality. I'm noticing a common trend when it comes down to these relationship coaches. They all say the same thing. The women can be disrespectful, disagreeable, won't listen. And, and you said we were out of order. <laughs> We're still out of order. <laughs> mean, diminished, demoralized in ways that we accommodate. Dishonor, betray, and defile one another. Oh. One female relationship coach after another, pointing out how difficult it is to get women to make the adjustment that they need in order to get the man that's on the level that they prefer. But let those women tell it, there's nothing wrong with them. But the coaches, they say otherwise. No, no, you're, you're a dusty. You are a dusty and he is settling for you. It would be considered struggle of if this man that you desire were with you, you know? And what you have to understand, again, I'm not trying to attack. I just want sisters to be real with themselves. The, you, the longer you stay in denial, the more you are going to frustrate yourself. When you are real with yourself about the type of woman you are and what you have to offer, then the the better you'll be because then you can start making those improvements. You hear what she said? Women need to start making improvements in order to move forward. The problem is the ones that actually need improvement, they don't want to do the work. They want the man that they prefer to do all the adjusting to them. And that's not how this works. And then when the female coaches try to tell them that, here comes the attitude. Number one is your attitude. Ladies, I don't think women understand how major this is. If you're walking around and you're bitter, you're mad at the world, you're resentful about the last guy that broke your heart, all of this portrays and it reflects in how you deal with men. Number three is high expectations. If your prayer sounds something like this, God, please send me the man of my dreams and please don't let him have too many kids. Don't let him have any kids. Um, Please let him have a high paying corporate job with benefits and a red Mustang drop top convertible. And please let him be tall, dark and handsome, blah, blah, blah. I'm gonna stop you right there. Okay, that's your problem. Wrong, you got it wrong. So remember, you're hearing this from different women, not men. And with Kendra G now snapping off. Y'all tell me what y'all want and I talk to these men. And then I come back and tell you, well, this is what this type of guy said. And then y'all get mad at me. Don't shoot the messenger. I'm just telling you what the guy you say you want say he want. What the hell? I wonder how much longer she's going to last trying to help these women out. I'll give her another year because she's still young and she's new at this. But after that, don't be surprised if she makes a video saying that she's done trying to help these women and getting the man of their dreams. And personally, I wouldn't blame her not one bit. Would you? What the hell? Hey, somebody had to tell you and I love you so it might as well be me. Don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when I post a new video or I post a new video every week. And in the meantime, will you please act right. My name is Raul. See you in another video. So if you enjoyed this video, check out one of these two videos right here. I'm sure you enjoy them too. And if you like, you can visit my channel. I have plenty of videos there. Go ahead. Don't be scared.